Good luck. All right, welcome back to the Shogi Teaching Ladder. This is week 51, and this is one of our opponents. Uh, uh, this is going to be uh, Uncle Jen, Jen Jen Shogi, playing a game with us. Uh, I know on Shogi Wars, you've seen me recently playing a lot of Central uh, Rook. Here, I'm going to play some other... I think I'm going to play Borth File Rook. And that's going to be interesting because as much as I've tried to pay attention during our lessons, um, I do... I don't know. It's early in the morning. Sometimes I don't remember everything. So this might be a wake-up call for me that I might need to study a bit more. Um, so this move surprises me. Oh, I see. So the idea is to delay their decision about whether or not they want to play um, yeah, a static rook or a swinging rook strategy. So they... Okay, how do I do this thing again? How do I play Shogi? Um... Sorry, my brain is a little bit broken at the moment. I'm not accustomed to seeing this diagonal wide open for so many turns in a row here. Um, I mean, it makes sense, but I'm just not accustomed to it. Uh, okay, we're going to develop the silver. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in this position or somewhere else. Um, okay, let's move this once more. So this is a soft spot at the moment. I'm quite surprised to see this move. They built Boat Castle. They've not yet put the king into Boat Castle. Um, and I've not moved my rook yet. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Well, we're going to play one more interesting move here. If they can play it, I can play it. Even though this gives away my hand that I'm not going to be playing the Anaguma Castle, but I think that's okay. I really don't want to play that right now. Anyhow... Um, so, yeah, let's attempt fourth foul rook and see how this goes. I know as much of a fan as I am of uh, playing in prediction things on other people's channels, I don't have channel points on my own channel, because uh, I think it's much too addictive. So forgive me for not offering predictions here. Okay, this is interesting. They've deliberately avoided uh, allowing their knight to move forward. Um... so tempting to push my third foul pawn right now. So tempting. Um... Well, actually, if they push the third foul pawn, this gives me three targets to aim at with the silver. So let's just get the king out of here. And if they do something aggressive on this third file, 
Well, I guess it's called the seventh file here, but if they do something aggressive on the seventh file, I can meet that aggression with aggression. Um, yeah, let's just move the king over, not lose anything critical here. Okay, that's aggressive for sure. Um, all right, I don't think you closed the diagonal, so I'm going to open it. Okay. We seem to have a bit of a disagreement about this the evaluation of this position. Um hmm. that's something. Hmm. Well, okay, this is not as safe as I thought it was. Um, Well, I'm taking this. I, I don't see a reason to not take it. Um, I need my bishop to escape for one thing, so that achieves the bishop escape. Um, Yeah, we have got some aggressive moves being played this game. This is definitely true. Um, so I'm debating... Well, no. Placing a lance is heavier than moving the rook. So the lightest move I could do is to move the rook out of the way. It's probably also the safest move at this point. feel like I missed something here. But yeah, now I've got a rook, and the next thing I'm threatening is to put a lance on the same file. Um, my rook is protected, even if somehow this bishop moves away with gain of tempo, I'm not losing the rook. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to greet my opponent. At this point, it's too late. I, I know I through the interface I've said good luck. Or I've said verbally good luck. I don't remember hitting the button. But yeah, I, I wish them the best of respect with this game. I'm taking this game seriously. Um, I'm not meaning any insult by that. I'm just saying I'm spending my time here because I do value this game. Um, and possibly I could just be being outplayed here. Um, they're playing quickly and confidently, and so they got some idea what's going on. Uh, okay. That makes some sense. I mean, my rook could run away, but I could also take the pawn. And if I take the pawn, um, their bishop is... Oh, I see. The idea is that, um... That I can't put a lance where they just place their pawn. That's kind of clever. Alright. At least this turn I cannot do such a thing. I would have to move my rook back and then place the lance here. So, guess what my plan is. Um... Actually, I could also consider, like, some other tactics, possibly. 
Um, yeah, I don't think the bishop can move while the rook is uh, not protected. Now you see an opposing rook sometimes. Um, the swinging rook player's bishop gets put in the middle of this arrangement. I don't think you see it as frequently that the static rook player ends up with their bishop in this pin. Maybe there are some cases, but in this case I took care to move my king away. Um, so yes. Oh, for some reason I was thinking I could drop a lance here, move my knight, and then drop another lance when the rook runs back. I, I only have one lance in hand. Um, but yeah, breaking this pin looks difficult. So if I'm in a hurry, I put the lance behind the rook. If I'm not in a hurry, uh, I retreat the rook and then put the lance in front. Uh, also, I check if I have a, any devastating attack here against the king. I don't think I do. Oh, <laughs> there's a third possibility now that the king's here. Um, yeah. All right, how much do I want a piece? I mean, I don't have to resort to this tactic. It's kind of cool that it's there. Um, no, it's the same thing. It's it's lighter to place. It's lighter to do this tactic than to not do it. Hmm. I'm confused. That's, I mean, yeah, now if I end up with the bishop on the board, that is heavier than putting the lance here. Oh, wait. This tricky tactic I'm thinking about... No, it doesn't fall prey to a tactic because my bishop, my horse, covers the square. There's no counter-counter tactic. As cool as the counter-counter tactic would be. Uh, I mean, there's a rook drop here that forks my those two pieces, and then I can put the lance and they take my uh, silver. So yeah, the lightest, the safest way to do this Ugh, um, my king is not safe. My king is super not safe. <sighs> um... As fun as all these other tactics are, I do need to exercise some caution. So I think the safest move here is that I retreat my horse. So my horse does not get trapped. I'm threatening pawn drop and then pawn drop to win the bishop. think that's the safest way to play this rather extreme position. Right, and then we drop a pawn. And so this gives us pressure on this file.
And this way I don't give my opponent a rook in hand. But also, like, this pawn, or if they end up taking it, the pawn I'm going to drop next is probably going to promote. And then after that promotes, my rook can promote, and, like, I have a very strong attack. Possibly Lance Drop was stronger. Um, hmm. But then they have a Lance in hand, and I have to start reading out variations involving Lances. I mean, my position looks safe enough. I probably could afford to be attacked by a Lance, but... Um, yeah, this is the lightest way to continue an attack. It's not as greedy, I think, as the Lance Drop might be. The Lance Drop could get me a Knight. A Knight could be useful to attack with. I think I accept that I'm eventually going to get this Knight, so I don't need to take it right now. I appreciate that. Like, even though we're in emote only mode, uh, the translation bot does translate uh, the emotes into Japanese. Oh, okay, well that's exciting. Uh, the simplest way for me to continue is take the bishop, because this rook cannot move. But also the bishop cannot move. Okay, so I think though if they take here, then the silver becomes active or something, or they could actually retreat with the bishop. So the simple move here is to take the bishop. So let's take it. All right, simple move here. My horse is well. Their horse, the horse could go more than one place. It's tempting to snap the pawn because I like taking pawns. Um, hmm. But if I calm down a bit, I can realize that my horse or my knight is going to go take this pawn eventually. There's no need for the horse to take it. Um, yeah, let's go here, where we start aiming toward the king. That way, if we ever do get a knight, a knight could go somewhere around here or here or something and, like, do some real damage. Alright, my rook is attacked. Um... I should take the pawn, probably, somehow. Um, yeah, let's take it. All right, they've succeeded. Well, no, they've not trapped their rook. Um, I see. This limits the scope of my rook. That's actually pretty clever. Let's drop all the way back here before something bad happens to my king. I see. So yeah, I did claim that I was going to get their knight. It's not actually so easy. I mean, I'm getting it, but it's not as easy or trivial as I made it sound. If my token goes and takes the knight over here, that's a bit of a walk for the token. Right, right, right. So. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'd like to promote my other bishop now. So this takes away a square that their rook would very much like to move to in a single move. If they want to go to this square, they're going to have to attack my bishop first, and then I can promote it. Um, well, that's not the most safe promotion ever, is it? Man, I'm getting aggressive. I don't know why. But yeah, if they like attack down this way... Am I really going to take this twice and sacrifice both of my bishops? I don't think that's smart. Well, hang on. <laughs> it's not trivial. So, yeah, I could take this pawn and get away. I survived to tell the tale. Um, but that seems riskier than necessary. Oh, well, yeah. Yes, I don't want their rook to become active here. That's why I dropped this here. So if they attack, I can just step back and promote here. And yes, my position's a bit congested for a moment, but that's fine. All right. Alternatively, if they do this... Um... Hmm... Let's promote over here. I'm going to try to win a rook. Oh, right. They can just do that. All right. Well, I got greedy. That serves me right. Um... All right, we'll take this. Uh, at this point, I have no reason not to take it. Um, We activate this rook. I mean, that's a very heavy weight for me to attack, but... Um, yeah, this forces the castle to be rearranged. Um... We promote this rook, so they've lost control of their back row. Uh, at present, I lack the pieces to checkmate with, but um, it's a bit spooky to lose control of your back row.
So yeah, I could use a knight. Um, so I'm debating putting a lance up here, taking this, and then rook or dragon takes knight. Absent some other plan of attack, but taking this lance, I'm, what would I do with the lance? I don't know. Um... Also, yeah, you're right, there are some soft spots in my position, especially on that diagonal. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, this is tricky. <laughs> Well, lucky for me, I have a move here. It's ugly, but it's a move. This blocks the bishop because my knight protects the lance. Um, lucky me. All right. So that answers the question, what could we use a lance for? We could use it for this. That's not a most orthodox way to use a lance ever, but we'll take it. Yeah, I... Well, that's interesting. I thought I completely understood a potential pawn move and why you do it. There are multiple reasons for such a move. Um, Alright, my rook needs to be act. Well, I've got so many pieces. But yeah, my rook is just sitting there not doing very much. Um... Man, this is awkward. This is super awkward. So I'm trying to avoid losing my horse here. Which is just going to slow down my attack, but it means like my horse is misplaced. But it has a target over here. There is something I can aim at. It was nice having this pin, but the pins outlived its usefulness. So anticipating this gold advance and this pawn trapping my horse, or at least making it very difficult to use, um, it hits for greener pastures, be it up here or be it back there hitting this. Mm -hmm. So I'm considering a retreat to hit this pawn. And then what might I do next? I still want to promote this and then take and then promote my other rook. That takes three moves to do, but I don't see... I don't see any catastrophic attack that could strike in the next three moves on my end of things. So I should just... that should be my plan. Is going up here help anything? Not really. Why do I want this pawn anyway? Really don't. Well, the deal here is I don't want to block my rook. So that's why I retreat this way. 
if my if I go in front of my pawn, then I'm again blocking my rook. The same way as if I just allowed my bishop to be driven back here. Like there's this conflict between or the horse and rook would be competing with each other. I did foresee this, and my answer is I was going to take this pawn. I still think I should take it. Um, because taking that would give me some inroads into their position. And further, I'd stop getting chased by this silver. Yeah, a horse is a better defensive piece than an offensive piece, but this is the side where both of our kings, this side contains both of our kings, so this is where the side that the horse belongs on, not this corner. Okay, I had some idea that might be coming. There are two issues here, one, well... Ah... <sighs> I was going to say, one, I could just win a silver by exchanging horses. Um, two is that they're threatening. Actually, yeah, their they're threats are substantial enough that I can't just ignore this. I need to take the bishop, then take the silver general, and accept that they might have a bishop drop somewhere, and I might have a bishop drop somewhere. But I definitely have a bishop drop back here. Right. Check. I I was thinking more about a pawn drop here, but that's not as menacing. It doesn't really threaten to take the lance and then follow up by taking the knight. It's interesting how this gold has moved up. So there's not room to drop a pawn back here. You'd have to like move the gold back to be able to do that. Alright, so I think I want to take the silver. Um, honestly, I could start considering bringing my rook to the fourth file, although odds of promoting on that file are very low. They're probably considering... They're trying to find a way to promote their bishop. Actually, I've given them a square to promote on. Oh well. Shug and I. <laughs> um, yeah, let's take our silver. And yes, we've allowed a promotion. Although, is it a safe place to promote? Do I have any trap afterward? I don't know. Well, no, if they drop here, I could drop my bishop back here to surround it. Um, yeah, so I'm fine. Okay. Um, well, if I'm a bit clumsy, I could get my silver kicked around the left side of the board and kicked in front of my rook. I think as as though I need to just take this. Again, they have this bishop drop, but I could trap it again. And then gold takes after. Well, then, then there's a drop here. Uh, it's not easy. But shogi being difficult is perhaps one of its endearing traits. Ah! Okay, I was not thinking about this. 
well spotted. Okay, I think I can let you have your silver general back. Seem a bit attached to it. Um, I think that's okay. All right, let's move our dragon to safety and incidentally threaten this uh, gold general over here. No, you have to take the silver here, I think, unfortunately. Uh, you've placed the bishop. The reason I move my dragon is to force what's coming next. Um. I did seriously consider dragon takes bishop, but then this looked more appealing. Sorry about the time pressure, but yeah, that's the nature of this online game here. All right, whoa. Uh, it's aggressive, but that does not work, I am sorry to say. Your turn. Finally, I get to play the move I've been scheming for, like, 20 moves here. Um, yeah. That looks difficult. But yeah, I guess on the other hand, like if I do, if I'm able to do dragon takes gold, I'm threatening another gold, and also this is only protected by the king. So maybe this is the better move. It's just a very difficult position. Alright, thanks for the game. Wow. That was something. Alright, let me take us out of emotes only mode. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> Shouldn't have opened the diagonal. Um, yeah, I wonder. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they kept the diagonal open. Oh, and the fact that, like, they weren't able to break through, um... Uh, I mean, you say I sh could have taken... Yeah, no, you're right. Could have is accurate. Should have would be a different matter. But yeah, could have is right. Um, Okay, so here... Yeah, this closes the diagonal. Well, that's possible. Uh, Especially because my king's on that side, yeah. Uh, this bishop pin was rough. Um, but okay, yeah, you, we did see this. Uh, I don't know, you do something like this. Yeah. I guess, um, uh, wait, how do I do arrows again? Oh. Oh, okay. This is what I was thinking of. Yeah, this is right. Uh, this is why I didn't just take the bishop. Um... Uh, Uh, why didn't I just push the pawn? Oh! Uh. Hmm. 
But yeah, oh, interesting. Uh, pawn takes a rook, and then horse takes pawn. Um, oh, well, this is a cute way. Yeah. Maybe I should have just... <laughs> uh, yeah, bow is pretty strong. Uh, uh, the king and the center tends to be very uh, vulnerable. Like over here, so... <laughs> so, yeah, usually the king is a bit safer. Um, yeah. Uh, here I just take two pieces. Oh! I like this. During the game, I didn't figure that out. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Right, so then, yeah, I keep scheming to try to get a rip promoted. Um, yeah. This looks interesting. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what I can... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we could take a look at some of this. Uh, this? Okay. Um, oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Um... Let's see. I guess I have to try this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I could, in fact, stop the rook. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> uh, yeah, this boat is it's been broken. Um Hmm. I did briefly consider it, but I'm not sure. What was I concerned about? Oh, am I just completely blind? Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, uh, something. Uh, yeah. Now that looks right. Um, I missed that, like, I was thinking there was a possible pawn placement to stop to some of these attacks, but that would be Nifu. So, yeah, that's, like, a very strong attack. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, at that point, like, if, well, I don't know. Abandon ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear you. It's, it's tough being on the ship as it goes down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon.
Wow. Yeah. The whole game I was... Uh, I kept one eye on my castle. Uh, it's perhaps why I missed so many tactics elsewhere. <laughs> Like, my castle's super solid, even though, like, yeah. Uh, I was thinking you want to do this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, that's why I play swinging, Rook. I don't have to deal with any of this. <laughs> so, um, at least boy tech seems to think static work theory changes more frequently. So, yeah. So I did find a good move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, yeah. yeah. This promotion looks very strong, <laughs> but, um, yeah, finally did it. <laughs> uh, wow. It's good that we have so many spectators who can point out all the things that both of us missed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, my castle. Look at that. It's a castle. <laughs> I never really got to building the rest of it, because uh, there were so many tactics everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. There's more than one factor here. <laughs> like, I wanted to build a castle. It's just... I'd have to spend a move on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, GG. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in this case, the Lance, too. <laughs> uh, it definitely, uh, it's certainly had a surprise element. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's go to game. Uh, yeah, wow. So, that was something. Yeah, so that's our faithful uh, Shogi Harbor video editor, uh, Jin Jin. Uh, yeah, have a nice day. Alright, yeah. I want to play an extra ladder game. That they they've got some ambition right there. Uh, yeah, we'll take one quick look through the game, but yeah. So yeah, my own thoughts on this. I mean, it more or less mirrors everything other players have said. I wanted to finish building my castle, but this Urashino attack, um, the way it was played, caught me a bit off guard. Uh, thankfully, I did. To uh, developed my silver early enough that I was able to make some things happen.
without everything hanging. I'm not sure about this rook move. It's possible I might have, like, this might be possible, or maybe, I don't know, this. Um, there might be other ways I could develop my pieces. I could consider this, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I eventually just played the fourth file rook. This, um, this breaks boat castle. Like, usually either this goes this way, or it stays here. Um, so yeah, this is preparing um, the Urshino strategy. But, yeah, there's a few things that were a bit... Oh, and here I try to start shutting his pieces down. Um, because I want to activate my rook on the fourth file. Especially right next to his king. So yeah, he senses this, um, but yeah, I think uh, had he not stepped into the pin, had he played something like this instead, uh, oh, oh, did I miss something here? Well, this is interesting. Say I had done this, uh, we could have seen something like this happen. We've got a trapped dragon. That doesn't happen every day. But yeah, this protects that, which protects this. And so I've got all the squares covered right around the dragon. So yeah, actually that would have been really awesome. Meaning that I could use a mere pawn to stop this. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't see that. But that's amazing. All right. Um, not sure what else. Yeah, like once this bishop got pinned, normally it's a silver general that's doing this attack, so something didn't quite go right here. Um, yeah, this is a good thing to like force me to use my rook, but at this point I think it's a bit too late to move the king because so many other things have gone wrong. Um, yeah, and as spectators pointed out, I could have just taken the bishop, although that's a bit concerning. Um, and yeah, by the time I get this pawn drop in, I'm winning a bishop and shutting down their rook. And their castle is somewhat compromised already. I could consider at some point dropping this in. But yeah, one thing led to another, and we got this position. And we said, okay, we'll have better luck next time. But yeah, it was an interesting game. I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks to Jen for playing in our teaching lab.